Okay, quick update on this. Um, so what I've done, was an experiment for one of the people in the Facebook group said to remove the cables from here. And uh, so this is the Y-axis stepper motor. And put the cables onto the X-axis stepper motor, which is this one here. Um, so that's what I've done. So you can see the cable that goes into into this here. Um, where is it? Well, yeah, that's 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 the limit switch, and then there's the. Uh, Oh yeah, no, sorry. That's so. This is the x-axis, so I can't. So this is what we're, what usually goes into there, um, and then this cable should really be going into the bed, um, or the the stepper motor on the bed. Um, so you can see here that this is typically the Y motor, which is that one, um, and I've plugged it into this motor over here, which just controls the. Uh, sideways movement, which I can't do because the cables are disabled. Uh, if I just go and do this again, so if I go to prepare, disable steppers, you can see I can move this nice and freely. Um, so again, the idea that this proves, um, or, or what we're trying to prove with this, is that it's not the fault of whatever this is down here, whatever's going on under the bed here, it is something that's going on in the box, so if we follow this cable, which is the one that's going in, uh, so that's this cable here, which means, unfortunately, I may have to go into the, into the control box, but I'll show you now, if I go into move axis, and then Y, because we remember the control box still thinks that the y-axis is the bed, um, whereas actually I've rewired it to the to the top one here. Um, so if I go and move y, it's not the same problem. So that leads me to believe that whatever the problem is, it's in the box and not over there. I don't know if I'm happy about that. I don't think I am, frankly. I think I'd rather it be over there, because then I can fix it easily, but whatever. Um, we'll just do our little thing, I guess. Right. Prepare. Back to the info screen. Uh, again, the rest of the stuff, so if I go to that one and then say the z-axis which is the up and down movement um, and then I can go and let me see if I can home the z-axis I have to move these out of the way first so again if you don't know the way this works um, yeah, essentially this bit of metal here will just go and press that switch there. Um, it takes a while to go down, because it's got to be very precise, but you can see the um, the motor down there turning. That's how it works, so... So that's how that works. Um, and you can see that worked fine. So if I go to move Z uh, like that, then you can see I can move the Z axis absolutely fine with no problem. So it is just the cable or, or wherever the cable leads to that I now have to go and troubleshoot, which is a pain in the bum because I don't know how to get inside the box without breaking everything. Um, I'm considering live streaming it, but I can't... Like, my computer won't... Like, this is on right now, you can tell, because it's flashy. But my TV won't work. 
basically a mother a bit of a nightmare.